Could you be more specific, like, what could, like, it's, a problem? There's, there's a million, there was a million little things, like the right, the right piano, the mm -hmm. right, uh, the right studio. And arrangements yeah. and sound, and getting the sound that you wanted. And uh, sound, like, I knew what sound I wanted, you know, it was like, I was having some difficulty getting it, you know? I mean, you're trying to make something that is, uh, 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 a non-physical thing you're trying to make it physical you're mm -hmm. trying to make it you know you got real. something in your head and you try to get trying it to, right you know right. and uh so i knew what i wanted and I, that's how come i knew i wasn't getting it and i knew i wasn't you know having the problems and he just said well we could use a better studio we could use a better this we could use uh, you know different things uh, certain technical problems and then and then also certain um he just have different perceptions of things, like try this tone on the guitar, or, uh, you know, various small things that when it all came together, where the was a big contribution to put the thing over the over the hill, you know. Is that one of the over reasons the, why it took so much time? Uh, Born to Run, it didn't take that long actually. Born to Run, the album was recorded in about four four months. I think the first release date on Darkness on the Edge of Town was somewhere about around two October. Years ago, right? <laughs> <laughs> October you know? 77, I think. They wanted, Columbia wanted it out for Christmas or something like that. And we finally got it, I don't know, a year and a half later or something. Yeah, it always, well, I had an idea and, and I knew what, you know, and I was just going after it, you know. And uh, I don't think there's a, you know, if you can go in and do it in two weeks, great, you know. And uh, you know, if you go in and you, and you and if it takes a year, if it takes six months, uh, uh, it's your own shirt, you know. <laughs> so you might as well do what you want to do. And you feel real good about the way this one's come out. I take it. Yeah, I like it. I'll, I'll, you know, I like it, which is always a hard thing to do. It's hard to. I mean, there's a lot of things that you know that I would do differently, and I hear differently now. And but in in general. I think it's uh, I think it was I think it's an honest record, and that's basically what I was trying to make. I know. think it's a great record, for whatever that's worth. Uh, well, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> but part of the reason it took so long, I'm told, and cost so much money, is that you you did a lot more songs than you needed for an album. Uh, there are ten songs. I'm Darkness, 10? Yeah, it was yeah. about 30 songs we did. You did about 30? Yeah, we did not finish, but like started. and mm -hmm. Some we have, uh, some of them are finished. And, uh, you, know, when, you know, some of them found their, their ways to other places. You know, Fire, Robert Corden did, and Because of the Night, Patty did. And uh, it was about, it was about 30 songs or 30 ideas that we recorded in the studio. So which track, to, and, which track was the hardest one to get down on the album? Oh, uh, let me think. Uh, like Badlands. I guess, I guess maybe, maybe so. You know, maybe so. It was hard to sing. Um, it was hard to what? It was hard to sing. To sing? Yeah, because what happens is like, uh, I sit down when I write, I play the music. Because I usually write the music first. And then I think, oh, brother, now I gotta write words to, you know, go the with this. The melody you just kind of start hearing. You know, like, like with Badlands, like I, had, I had the word, I had Badlands, you know, and, and then I had chord changes, and uh, we'd go in the studio, and we'd lay the, lay the track down. And uh, I had a, you know, vague outline. And I'd go home, and I'd play the tape, and I'd write the words. But I wouldn't do it out loud. I would write them in my head. So I'd go in the studio <laughs> and I would try to sing it. And I'd realize that what I'd written was like, you know, it was hard to breathe and sing, and sing it all at, at once. So that was, uh, that was hard to sing. That's, uh, some of the new songs are phys physically harder to play than some of the other ones. Born to Run was like that too, though. Just because that's the sort of the, the way that I, that, that I do it, you know? I've got to talk to you about the band. We find out how you met these guys and and your relationship with them, and all because the you know the E Street Band is so much a part of Bruce Springsteen 
and the whole record and the show oh, against uh, such a great rock and roll band. We'll talk about Danny first, because I think Danny Federici is the oldest member of the band. <laughs> right? Yeah, he's... Uh, How did you guys get together? How did I meet him? I met him... I remember it was in a, in a place called the Upstage in Asbury Park. He was in a band that was... I think they were pretty hot at the time. I believe the name of the band was The Moment of Truth, you know? <laughs> him and Vinny, Mad Dog. Mm -hmm. And I met, I met Mad Dog, came up to me, he had his, his head was shaved bald, he'd been in jail or something, and he said, listen, I just got out of jail, but I got this band and we need a guitar player. And, you know, uh, you wanna, you know, play at the time? I said, sure. What were you doing at the time? I was free uh, freelancing on the guitar, sort of. I quit school, and uh, I was just just playing, you know. And I was making money at this club upstage called Upstage. I'd make uh, you know anywhere from five to twenty-five dollars a night, you know, by just uh, jamming. But they wanted you to join and, their uh, band, though. I mean, yeah. Danny and, and yeah, and, 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 Dog. and Danny. I met Danny. I remember Danny's in a leather jacket, had his hair slicked back. I think he had his wife with him. And I met him, and I didn't remember because she had on a blonde wig. And the next time I, <laughs> next time I met them both, she, I guess she had her dark hair. And that was at the first rehearsal, you know. And, uh, and it was me, and it was Danny, and it was Vinny. And who played the bass? This fella called Little Vinny. Fella, it was smaller version, you know, <laughs> of Vinny, and, uh, Were you the was, singer in the band? Yeah, at that time, I was, I was singing and playing, you know, um, and when did, when did Gary show up? Gary was funny, because the first night I walked into this club, like, I was from 20 miles inland, I was from Freehold, and this place was on the, was on the shore, and, very strict uh, uh, town lines and like in county lines. It's very strict, very different lifestyles every 10, 10 and 20 know, miles, I, I, you know? I lived in Asbury Park for 10 years, so I know, like, was, if you're from Neptune, then you, that means you're not from Asbury right, Park. Right, you're and not if from Asbury. if you're from England, right. then you're from another country. Exactly, right. you know?